Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Manjaro 1610. Uh, this is the new release. Um, it's actually uh, still under release candidate 2 status, but uh, based on what I've read on the Manjaro website, this is basically what will be released within the next day or two as the new stable release 1610, codename Fringilla. Now, I downloaded it and installed it and I have a few uh, concerns um, this is the actually this I'm at the uh, Manjaro install right now um, and I basically changed the uh, theming and made it look the way I wanted it to but everything installed properly everything works terrific I haven't had any issues other than one software issue the um, scanner um, software from my brother printer is not downloading um, it says one of the packages couldn't pass the security test I think they're doing some work on that uh, probably at the arch level and not within Manjaro but um, I do have a couple concerns um, let me pull up the website now this is the Manjaro 1610 package release um, after several months hard work we're happy to announce Manjaro 1610 Fringilla to the public this is the package wise release of our current stable release and that's where I downloaded it and I installed it so my concern is number one I noticed over the last couple weeks while Fringilla was being developed it it seemed to me that even on some of the stable updates Manjaro was having some issues uh, a lot of people were hitting the forums saying that the update uh, trashed their system and so and I don't have any hard numbers but it's just a feeling I got from reading through the posts on the forum. Um, that seems to have continued into uh, 1610 development. And this is going to become the stable release, 1610, uh, within the next day or two. So I wanted to take a look at it to see if there were any ramifications. Uh, as I said, everything installed properly. I cannot sit here and say that there is there are any issues within Manjaro uh, on this new 1610 release candidate 2. Uh, this is the install. It installed properly. I do have a few concerns. Now, I'm not sure what is creating this a uh, little bit of instability within Manjaro I noticed that a few weeks ago they changed ownership now Philip Mueller who I have a great deal of respect for um, is now basically running the show uh, now really if you if you've had any dealings with Manjaro over the last few years Philip has been the guy so as far as um, responsibility for Manjaro Philip has been the guy over the last few years now it has basically just become official um, but I'm just wondering if there might be a little bit of a change in philosophy uh, that's creating a little bit of this instability and again it's it's nothing scientific but I, you you guys know I have always been a really big Manjaro supporter um, and these issues have caused me to pull back just a little bit and I'll tell you how that's manifesting itself within my system I always had Manjaro controlling my boot process it was usually the number one distribution on my drive and <clears throat> since uh, there have been some issues lately I have changed that philosophy personally I love Manjaro and I've got Manjaro installed right now which you're looking at but 
over the last week or two I'd, I had no Manjaro installed. I uh, decided to go with Anturgos as my number one um, system. And let me pull up uh, Gparted and you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. Within Gparted I have well in in this con computer it's a it's a really busy computer it has Mac OS uh, Sierra the new Sierra on the A drive on the B drive these are all my Linux distributions I'll come back to that on the C drive I have another Sierra which is really my my uh, main Sierra drive it's the largest um, and then on the D drive I have I have Windows 10 and so getting back to the B drive this is where all of my Linux distributions reside as you can see Anturgos is my controlling system I have it installed as UEFI and all of my other systems are legacy boot. So you can see Manjaro, which is where I am sitting now, is loaded, Manjaro 1610. Then I have OB Revenge, Ubuntu Mate, Debian Testing, and Sparky Linux. So I've got all of these distributions on this one drive and I'm my daily driver um, lately has been Anturgos and the rest of them are testing. So and but I've been spending more time in OB Revenge because I'm interested to see how that performs on a daily basis. But my number one system is Anturgos. It's absolutely flawless. Um, haven't had any issues whatsoever. So Manjaro, if I can just wrap up this discussion, I've got a few concerns, but they're not major. Um, I'm going to leave this installed. I'm going to use it. And eventually Manjaro may become my number one distribution again. But right now, based on the last few weeks, and the chatter on the forum, I'm going to pull back a little bit and just use it for testing. So I just so I can see what's up. Now that brings me to my next subject. Normally, Manjaro is the controlling boot process, and it wants to be the controlling boot process. If you just install Manjaro, it will take over your machine it will become number one and that'll be your grub screen and then everything else will run off that. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep Anturgos as my number one. And so I experimented with the install for Manjaro. I ended up installing it four times before I got it to the point where I could install it and still leave Anturgos controlling my boot process. And I was able to do that by setting the flags on the petition during the Manjaro install. I'm not going to go through that with you because I want to test that out a few more times. But once I get that uh, procedure developed, then I will share that with you in a video. Uh, but needless to say, right now, Manjaro is a secondary distribution, and Turgos is still my main distribution, and it's controlling the boot process. When I boot the machine, uh, and Turgos comes up with its boot screen, and I have all of my distributions available on that screen. So, enough about the philosophy. Let's take a look at the real world uh, comparison. So when I booted Manjaro I, I went through the same install process. Uh, this is 1610 Fringilla, same machine as I always use. 
Um, so allow no bootloader, yes, and I put long story. That's where I had, to, it did allow me to not to install a bootloader and it would not boot out of Anturgos. Now it does, so I, I took care of that. Wi-Fi install, I deliberately did not use Wi-Fi during the install because I didn't want anything changing the boot. Install time was about 10 minutes. Boot time is about 10 seconds. The default kernel is 4.4.27, which is the long-term support kernel. Um, RAM usage on first boot was 560 meg. CPU usage was 0.03 load average. Uh, NVIDIA, I have 37028. That was installed out of the box because I used the non-free install option. Broadcom I installed at the command line as I always do. My printer install was fine as I mentioned the scanner software package has not been able to install. Netflix no problem um, using Chrome. My default, the default theme for install was Vertex Maya. The default icon theme was Vertex Maya. Uh, the font was Cantorell 10, wallpapers 37, icon sets 4, number of themes 28. Desktop environment, I have the XFCE flagship version. Window manager XFWM4, Arch family, LibreOffice. Steam, Manjaro has their own version of Steam, uh, which is no problem at all. Battle.net installed, as you can see on my desktop. Hearthstone, no problem. And the issue is the complex boot configuration, which I'm not a big fan of. I like to be able to control the boot and decide what distribution is going to um, present its the grub uh, menu to me. And so, end of story on that. Um, so, that's basically what this new 1610 Manjaro boils down to. Again, I'm not having any particular issues. Everything's running along fine. Um, all of the software that I wanted to install is available. Uh, one thing about Arch, between the Arch repos and the community uh, Yawit repos, you've got pretty much everything at your disposal. So uh, guys, that is it for um, this review. Now, as far as what I'm running now for theming, uh, I will show you. I have Numix Dark Blue for my theme. My icons are Fienza Dark. I've got Infinality fonts installed. I'm using Droid Sans 11, Slight Hinting, and RGB. Um, 96 DPI. Uh, so the infinality fonts make a big difference. So that is my theming. This uh, wallpaper is an XFCE wallpaper. Um, I thought I'd, it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice wallpaper. I thought I'd put that up for a while. So guys, that is it. Manjaro 1610. Uh, thank you for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.